Yo, yo, welcome back to another video with Sorry Sam Beer Reviews slash Guide. And I'm joined with my good buddy again. You all know him, you all love him, Alan uh, King Squat on YouTube. Go check him out, I'll leave a link in the description where to find him. And uh, thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is some fall seasonal beers. <laughs> and uh, I went looking for um, like just fall beers in general. Apparently, fall just means pumpkin, so that's that's what we got. And what we have doing today is the Southern Tier Brewing Company, the Pumpkin, which looks fun. And then we have the Shipyards Pumpkin Head. And then finally, a beer I didn't even know they started making, but New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger, the Atomic Pumpkin, the spicy release. I'm not sure what spicy means. It's saucy. <laughs> so that's what we're we'll doing today. Thank you guys. We'll get right into it. The first one we're going to be doing today is the Southern Tears Pumpkin, um, which is their seasonal selection. I'm not sure where they're at, but it's supposedly pumpkin pie in a glass. And I really like the bottle on these and stuff. They're yeah, they're really very Halloween. Mm -hmm. Little pumpkins and browns. And mm -hmm. It's orange. Yeah, orange. It is. <laughs> It is, and I'm excited. I mean, this one looked really good. It's pretty high on alcohol content for it's an imperial pumpkin ale. It's 8.6 percent, so it's definitely higher than a lot of the a lot of the ones. That... Lakewood, New York. Oh, from New York. There you go. Pennsylvania. A little reading can accomplish boys and girls. When you know how. You know what? I got dyslexia. I can't help it. So we'll crack it open. We'll get the camera's pretty far away on this one, so I don't know how much. ASMR, we'll get. Oh, I'll, I'll do it for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope that sounded good. It's, 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 probably, it's probably sounded creepy. So we were at our glasses. We have proportional sized glasses for us. You see, this thing's freaking huge. This is Alan's personal cup. Boy, can Alan drink. <laughs> How much does this thing hold? Two and a half? Two and a half. It's crazy. So we'll get the... Yeah, I don't even know if I'll be able to smell. I'll smell out of yours, I guess. It smells okay. It's got a nice color to it. It's very... golden color, orangey, very fall-esque. Oh, it smells like... <laughs> it smells like a cinnamon pumpkin, which I hate. But hopefully... Hopefully it might look pretty heavy. We do have a lot of these, so that's good. If this is the favorite one. It's not bad. Yeah, is it? Oh, okay. That's right, you've tried this before. I have. Uh, cheers. cheers. I think he's up. <laughs> that's hard for this thing. <laughs> cinnamon spice to it. It's very cinnamony, which I'm sure people will love, but I hate cinnamon. And that's all it tastes like. It's, it's pumpkin cinnamon. It's not bad. I don't want to say it's a bad beer. It's pretty good for pumpkin beer. Yeah, and especially for 8.6%. Like, that's smooth. It's very smooth for 8.6%. I just, again, it's not my flavor preference. Yeah. But I, I enjoy it. It's not bad. I don't like it. You said your wife yeah. drinks these a lot, right? It's not something I buy for myself. No, it's it's, it's definitely buy it for because it's fall, but that's about I don't know if I'd ever buy this regularly. Yeah, exactly like you said. I don't like the cinnamon. I don't know. It pro I, mean, I was gonna say you could probably get crazy with it and put cinnamon on the rim, but Ooh, that would just be so much. Um so I'm gonna rate this guy a it's not that. I'm gonna rate this seven pumpkins out of ten. What say you? I think seven's pretty fair. It's good. It's not my taste. It's, yeah, it's, I'm sure it's for somebody out there. It's drinkable. Oh, it's definitely good. It's not, again, you could... If you like pumpkin here, so you'll like this. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent way to put it. Ha, we got quite a big pound already. <laughs> we'll get to the, left, the second one. So now we're going to do the New Belgium Voodoo Ranger Spicer Release, mm -hmm. the Atomic Pumpkin. Ooh. Comes in at a solid 
6.4%, so we'll get you there. Yeah, I guess you get, people just get crunked for it. <laughs> for fall <all> season. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Ale brewed with pumpkin, cinnamon, and chilies. Chilies? chilies. Welcome to chilies. Hi, <laughs> welcome to chilies. So, Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. It's Brucey. Yeah. I got family up in Fort Collins. Awesome place if you're ever in Fort Collins. We got the pleasure to visit this brewery. Yep. It's like an amusement park there. They got a whole yeah, they got a whole field. The brewery tour is really cool. They even have a self walk brewery tour where they have like things and they got all these. It's really neat. I strongly recommend it. Really, really cool place. A lot of beer. A lot of beer. A lot of beer. It was amazing. New Belgium, uh, please. I will do anything. <laughs> wink, wink. That's wink. Right. Yeah. I'm nowhere near sponsored by any by any means necessary. Uh, so yeah, we'll do, do again. I don't know how much you're gonna hear it, but we'll give it a crack. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that was clean. Spicy. That was clean. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm so curious on the spice. The chili is kind of scary. Oh, it smells. <laughs> it's a little bit chili. Yeah, that's scary. Again, nice pumpkiny color to it. Very orange. Very paleish. Here, get this like right up to my Closer to the beer. Oh, this, it, it smells good. It smells good. Really, it smells good. can smell that chili. Yeah, it smells sweet. Which I kind of like about it. Yeah, a little bit. You can barely smell the scent. What the? Smell. guys, that was my life. I didn't do that. I'm a Sicilian, alright? Look at him. So, yeah, we're gonna try. Cheers. Uh, you gotta use two hands for that one. Oh, cool. oh. oh I love them. Never disappoint. No, they're so good. New Belgium's so good. This is it's subtle. It's like a slight burn. Yeah, got a slight burn. There is. There's a little it's kick to it. Yeah, it's a slight burn. But it's not. not burn. But it's not too much. It's that pleasant. It, it is. It's like what you want a tasty, spicy wing to feel like without being like, all right, I need milk. Oh, for, this. Yeah, for the month of October, this is good. This is this is an excellent beer to do. There is that little bit of spiciness to yeah. it. That's so crazy to me. I know that a lot, I know it's done. Like people put jalapenos and stuff, or yeah, yeah, jalapenos and beer and stuff to give it that little hiss. But this just does it so good. So subtle. Yeah, now I understand why they call it the spicy release. Yeah. It's just crazy. It's not spicy at all, you just feel a little Yeah, it's like a little tingling. Mm -hmm. A little buzz. Tickling you. Yeah. Wow, I've been blown away. Blown away. I don't normally like fall beers or pumpkin beers. I kind of skip over it most of the time, but this is incredible. Nine. Yeah. Nine pumpkins. Nine pumpkins out of ten? Yeah. This is good. It's a good Four pumpkin beer. It's the best I've had. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a 9, too. I'll give it a 9. It's like 9, it's right on the the rim of a 10. It's it's a good beer. I wouldn't, again, I don't know if I drank it. If I had, like, all the options laid out in front of me, I don't know if this would be the one I'd grab, just if it wasn't fall. But for fall, this is, like, the perfect, the perfect beer. I feel like chugging this one's gonna hurt. Yeah, it you might. have to chug this. You know, it will. I feel like that's gonna hurt a little bit. <laughs> well, so far, this is the favorite, it sounds, it seems like. But uh, cool. We'll get a, we'll get, we'll go to the last one. <laughs> so the last one we're doing today is the Shipyard Brewing Company's Pumpkin Head. Uh, this one's definitely this is the lighter one on our spectrum at 4.5 percent alcohol percentage. Uh, I really like the can in this guy. I like the. Paul Revere, or the Headless Horseman with a pumpkin eye. <laughs> I don't know why I said Paul Revere. It could be Paul Revere, you don't know. And uh, yeah, the bottle, I like there's almost like, there's like a nautical spectrum in the back of it and stuff. But it's really... Yeah, no, it is. There's violence, there's death. Yeah. It's neat. I don't really know the backstory behind the Headless Horseman. Spooky season, so <laughs> who knows? They've been home. New, new England. I got a new yeah. England. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, thank you, Al. <laughs> what the hell? How did you just explode <laughs> like that? Exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, cool. No? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I just hit the phone. Oh, gosh. And that phone was fancy. 
pour it out. Oh, this one's definitely a lighter beer. It's much lighter than the other ones. And I'll read a little bit more about it. It's our favorite time of the year, pumpkin head seasonal. Our pumpkin head ale is clean, crisp American wheat eel flavored with a unique blend of pumpkin spices. It only comes alive once a year, so enjoy it while you can. We'll see if we'll enjoy it, but uh, it pairs perfectly with apparently another beer, <laughs> a pie, pie, video game, or football and hiking. That's interesting. I didn't expect. Normally, you see pairing with like a oh yeah, it feels good with a all fromage and stuff. But yeah, go hiking, take this beer. Yeah. Yes. Why would they pair for who with another beer? It may not be a very good beer. Well. <laughs> Oh, you, you need another beer to wash out this one. And we're, ju we're judging it before we taste it, but we'll give it the smell. Oh, it smells very, very cinnamony. Very. Cinnamony. You like it? I think so. I must have got all of it then. It's a, exclusively what I tasted was cinnamon. It's not, it's not as sharp as the first one was, like the cinnamon's very dull, but uh, tell, tell me, if your can's different than that, that'll be interesting, because, I mean, normally, I mean, it could be a different batch, but, I mean, I bought them right behind each other. Crap, that's right. It's not, yours is, I don't know, I feel like yours is definitely more subtle than mine. And it could have just been that, like, I smelt the cinnamon, and yeah. then that's what I tasted. Yeah. It's got a subtle hit of, like, a cinnamon and pumpkin, uh, but it's a, almost like a Miller. Yeah, it's like... It's a Miller that they threw a dash of pumpkin. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a light. Like, like. Yeah, it's a light, it's a light, light beer. It wouldn't... I won't think it'll be only 4.5%, it's most certainly is lighter. If you're gonna have a couple, this is I'd recommend this so yeah. over the other two. Really? Okay. I'm still if you're gonna have a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. Like well that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If this is yeah, a party beer or something, you know, you need something to keep away for the rest of the night. Yeah. But I'm gonna pick this one. <laughs> I like the saying on uh, Oh my gourd. It's oh my gourd. Oh, oh, oh my gourd. <laughs> oh my god. So that's funny. Points for that. But I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it another seven out of oh, six point five out of ten. Six point really? five for me. I'm gonna give it an eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's it's easy. It's well, easy to drink. It's very easy, to, and I you know you are right when you say that. It's very easy to drink. It's very easy to drink. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give it. Eight. Yeah, we'll round it. Up. We'll round it out as a seven then. Okay. Seven point five. Not a happy medium. Yeah, not a happy medium. Awesome. So we'll jump into what was our favorite then. Well, those were our seasonal fall seasonal pumpkin beers and. I'll do, I'll, I'm sure I'm going to do more of these, I'll try to do. If you guys like it, I'll do more fall seasonal beers for you guys to try out. Let me know in the comments, or just like it, tell your friends, or anything to let me know if you guys like it, or if you dislike it, I don't care, whatever, whatever you guys want to do. Um, or if you got a beer to recommend from your country, state, or yes. just any beer you like that's not be fall, mm -hmm. drop in the comments. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually shout out to... Um, my buddy over in Sicily, I don't know if he wants me to say his name, so I won't, but he's offered to send me beers. Thank you so much. You know who you are. I know, right? Isn't that so cool? Um, you know who you are. Thank you so much for even offering to do that. That was so very nice of you to do. And uh, again, if you, I, if you want, I'll put it, send me a text or something, let me know, and I'll and put it. you don't want them, I'll take them. Oh, you, no, well, not that, I'm not saying that, but if you want me to say your name or nothing, I didn't want to. You never know. Who just did, but. But what we, anyway, yeah, what we decided, um, I we left them in order. Voodoo uh, Ranch, this was so good. New Belgium does not disappoint in yeah. ever. Yeah, it's so good. He, to the brewery, to the can, New Belgium's 10 out of 10 all the way. Um, oh, yeah. Next would have been the Shipyard Pumpkin Head. It was, it was good. It was easy to drink. It was very sippable, and it wasn't overpowering. And the overpowering factor is why we kind of put this guy in the last, yeah. the pumpkin, it was very, or I'm sorry, this was the pumpkin head, this is the pumpkin, I don't know if I messed that up, um, but this was just so, so much cinnamon, so, like, if you're having just one for the night, I would go with the pumpkin, yeah. this has more of the flavors, mm -hmm. but you're gonna have a couple back to back, definitely the pumpkin head, oh, yeah. it's just easier to drink, mm -hmm. and this just was, that is, valuable, I don't know, it was delicious, <laughs> it was so good, it, it was, was what these two put together, mm-hmm, 
but that is it. Yep. And then without further ado, um, we'll do the chug. Now Alan's generous enough, he's got the beard. Got the dust boot. We got the boot. I only did a half boot because I got to drive after this. And yeah, we did run out of beer. I actually have Voodoo Ranger and Ship King in mind. And then you have Pumpkin. Pumpkin Pet. Or yeah, <laughs> we have something in ours, right? But <laughs> thank you guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, God bless you. I, thanks again. Happy season. I don't know. Fall. We're in Florida. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. I'm not excited. Okay. Let's do this. Welcome back to another video of Sorry Sam Brewing, not brewing, I keep saying that, 